Hi there, everybody. Uh, just sitting in um, with Adrian at the moment, going to have a little chat. We're over at Adrian's HQ, yeah. i.e. his garage. <laughs> <laughs> Pumping the water as we, as we go now. So, as you know, his name's Adrian. Just ask him a couple of questions today, really. Um, so, Adrian, how, how long have you been doing the window cleaning for now, though? Been doing it about, about a year, year or so. Yeah, okay, that's great. And um, what initially got you into the window cleaning? Well, I fancy the different type of job, basically, less stress. Uh, be my own boss really and something that was repeat business so that was basically what attracted me to window cleaning yeah so yeah just just like the flexible yeah like flexibility of it sort of thing yeah sure and it's kind of a lot less stressful than what I was doing before so which was in the care industry wasn't it so. yeah yeah I guess you could say that forensic mental health yeah so it's pretty difficult um, and where did you hear about myself um, Whizbiz internet various forums window cleaning forum and things like that yeah, okay, great. Right. And um, what type of system are you currently using at the moment? Well, believe it or not, <laughs> trolley system. The trolley system. Yeah. Yeah. And what would you say the main advantages to that are for well, you at the moment, do you think? The advantage is if I have to park miles away from it, which a lot of houses are, are that I do awkward access and things, I can just use the trolley. Yeah. That's the advantage of it. Disadvantage is the barrels, lugging them around, they're heavy. You know, when you're filling them up like here, well, I mean, you could fill it into a static tank, I guess, and transfer it over. You could do it that way. But yeah, I mean, but with the van system, you don't have to lug these around and just get those out. So they've both got their pluses. Yeah. And what types of houses do you most enjoy doing with the window cleaning, would you say? Uh, well, quite, I quite like doing bungalows and I quite like just doing, you know, your two floors. Yeah. Really. Keep it. So, uh, what's your what's your least favourite? Anything higher than that? <laughs> Anything higher than Why that? Why is that really high? Because you know, with the pole extending and all that, you no, know, it can be a bit, a bit tricky. A bit tricky for you. Yeah. And um, when when I came up, a lot more, a lot more work when they're up high like that. Yeah. So it's mainly like on your back and your arms. And yeah, I still really do a lot of them, but yeah, they're my least favourite. Mm. And um, when when I came up the first time back in February, mm. uh, what surprised you the most about the actual service itself um, uh, and what you got for your money? No, I mean, I was very happy with everything you did. I mean, obviously, I hadn't used you at that point before, yeah. so I, you delivered, basically. That's why I used you again. Yeah. Trustworthy, I think it was cool. Yeah, okay. And um, the amounts of houses I was getting per street. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what I liked about it, yeah, as well. You're getting very close together. Yeah. Whereas when I did some leafleting myself, you know, you get them all spread out. You go here, there and everywhere, but with you, you get a lot down the street. So it's, it's quicker, isn't it? Yeah. And you get them close together. No, that's good. And um, do, you, do you find that you're getting more calls from the leaflets I'm leaving? Yeah, definitely as well. You get calls from them later on, long after you've gone. Yeah, okay, no, that's great. And um, how do you find these customers when you actually turn up to do them for the first time? Expecting me. There's no problems there. I always ring the uh, ring the bell. You've always let, already let them know when you pick them up that I'm coming. They're expecting me, and I get them with the job. I'll we'll explain it to them if they don't know about the system and all that. Have a chat with them while I'm doing it. Yeah, it's been no issues. Okay, brilliant. And um, when when you first started, mm. how were you going about getting your customers? Uh, me just leafleting. Just leafleting. And yeah, I picked up customers, obviously, but they're all over the place. Yeah. So not as com compact as the ones you get me. Because I obviously need to drop a lot more leaflets, and door knocking's better. But yeah. I'm not into door knocking, so. Because yeah. um, you know, just let people at home know. Um, when I first met Adrian, you were delivering how many leaflets a night? Were you going out then? Oh, I, I don't know how many a night, but I delivered the load of them. Yeah. You know. About five hundred a week. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I dropped, I dropped a lot of leaflets just to get customers all over the place, though. So. So you might get one or two down this road and then one down down the other road, you know, and you've got to travel too. So it makes your round kind of spread out. Yeah, okay. And as regards to pricing and things, mm. how, how do you find the pricing that I'm, I'm picking up for you at the moment, would you say? Yeah, fair pricing. Yeah. Obviously as well with the work, obviously being all first cleans, it's intense and it is difficult. Because you're not just doing like one or two first cleans, you might be doing 14 of them a day, first cleans. And no, obviously filthy, very dirty, and it's very hard work. And that yeah. carries on going until you meet the quota. Yeah. So it's, it's intense, definitely. Yeah. It's hard work. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
Right, well that's pretty much all I've got in my questions at the cool. moment. Is there anything else you want to add in there though, Adrian? No, that sounds about it really. Yeah, okay. You know, just Mark's good, he's trustworthy, he does what he says. Basically, if you're looking for a canvasser, I'd recommend it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks for that, Adrian. Um, as you know, we're going to put that in the documentary, so yeah. um, hopefully you won't be eating your words later, yeah. in, later on this one. But um, Well, um, to be fair, we've been doing first cleans for about three days now, haven't we? Yeah. Um, how's that been this time round, would you say? It's been fine, you know. I know what to expect anyway, because I used last time. And yeah, it's been, been what I expected. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Okay. All right, well, I'm not going to pester Adrian too much because he's a very, very busy man and uh, <laughs> we're sorting out all the water this afternoon and this other bits. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave you guys with that for now and um, I'm sure we'll be having some more chats with Adrian before I go and everything. So, all right, well, enjoy yourselves and uh, I'll keep the videos coming, guys. Thanks very much and thanks, Adrian, for doing that. That's appreciated.